Okay, good morning everybody. It's uh, James West here and we are at As You Pass By. Uh, we're back at the Bowling Green. Uh, due to a few technical problems, uh, some of what I was saying was obliterated by the wind the last time. So I decided to come back and do it again. So here we are, Bowling Green, the oldest and smallest park in Manhattan. And I'm gonna turn the camera around now so you don't have to look at me to see the beautiful sights here. So Bowling Green was originally, uh, it was actually one of the first public places in Manhattan. It was uh, used by the Dutch as a cattle market and a grain market. And uh, it was established as a park um, in 1733 after the British had taken over and so we can see also the very beautiful custom house building which was built in the early 1900s but um, the park itself was actually a very important Lenape Indian cultural site uh, dating back to about 4000 BC. So it's got a long history. Broadway was known in those days as Wekwizgek, if I'm pronouncing I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right, but um, it was a trail that was used by the Lenape Indians for many centuries. Anyway, um, and it was a sort of central point of Manhattan back in the early days. So if we look more carefully, um, right here was, like I said, the custom building, custom house. And uh, right over there was um, a street which would have passed right by where I'm standing, which was called Marketfield Street. It still exists. It's cut off by the northern part of to Broadway, which is right here. And it once, it, it, it exists now with a, uh, like a 90 degree angle. Uh, I'm not gonna take you there because it's much to see, but it once passed through here and down across the street. Over here we have one Broadway, which was at one point the United States line building, the, the um, steamship company. Um, but it was also a place called the Kennedy House in the early 1700s, which was where uh, a number of British generals lived um, when they were in the city. Uh, such as General Howe, um, George Washington did not sleep here, but um, probably right about here, behind where the bus is, was um, the third house of Broadway, it probably would have been number five, and that's where Benedict Arnold lived down Beaver Street from Bowling Green and you can see a little green roof, a little copper roof there. That building is the end point of Marketfield Street um, and it makes a right angle and, and turns east, actually it's north, um, for about 100 feet. It's one of the smaller streets in New York City. But anyway, this is the, the custom house before it was there. This is roughly the site of the uh, Fort New Amsterdam, which was the original Dutch settlement. Um, in fact, it was where pretty much of everyone uh, of the original Dutch settlers lived inside the fort. It was uh, demolished in around 1780, 1785, and um, this was supposed to be the site of the White House, believe it or not. It was, uh, a building was erected there called the Government House, 
and it was supposed to be where George Washington lived. Uh, he never lived there. In fact, he lived <laughs> about 100 feet north of here. He lived at 39 Broadway, but that wasn't his first residence. We're gonna save that part for another installment. But um, anyway, and as we mentioned earlier, this was uh, number one Broadway, which was where several, uh, well, there was a, a building there called the Kennedy House, where several British generals lived. And of course, Benedict Arnold, who was a famous uh, traitor, who originally was with the Continental Army and then uh, became, <laughs> excuse me, a, a British soldier. Um, and uh, he was not tried for treason. He lived and died uh, the rest of his, he lived the rest of his life in England uh, where he died. But what happened here at the uh, government house was Washington never lived there. It was then used by several governors of the state of New York, including DeWitt Clinton. Uh, that building was demolished, and I, I have to check, but I don't know if it was... Um, this uh, Custom House building was built in uh, about 1910, and uh, prior to that, uh, the site of the government house, which was torn down, uh, in the late 1800s. And I think this part of the tape was obscured the last time um, when I was pointing out where the royal insignias were on the top of the fence. And you can still see the mark. Oh, there are two little birds. Uh, you can see the mark here where it's uneven on the top. And that is where the, the um, in 1776, five days after independence was declared, the um, colonials, former colonials, started hacksawing off. There was a little crown on top of the finial here. And uh, they removed all of them. There were a couple hundred on the park. And the fence is still here. You can still see where the hacksaw was used to cut through the metal. And uh, the fence has been standing here. I think it was taken down at one point when the IRT station, right, which you can see there with the glass roof, was, uh, it's actually had several uh, stages of renovation. And uh, during one of them, and I believe it was in the early 1970s, the, um, the fence was taken down temporarily and then replaced. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, our return to Bowling Green. By the way, Bowling Green uh, is a strange name because there's, I have been able to find no evidence that there was any bowling <laughs> that ever went on here. But it's possible that it did. And by the way, if you find something that I've said uh, it, to be incorrect or um, or just horrible in some other way, please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. We're gonna have a lot more installments. This, by the way, what we're looking at is 26 Broadway. We're gonna take a closer look at that in an upcoming installment. So the channels, as you pass by, I'm James West, your tour guide for the day, and um, please like and subscribe below. Thank you.